<laughs> you can give me free cellular for however many years okay. and I'd be good. All right. Oh. Well, there you go. Let us know what you think. Yeah. Are you team Android or uh, team iPhone? Hashtag good day DC. Let us know. We're getting started because uh, a musty good day DC starts right now. Let's go ahead and have the control room. I'll roll that open. Breaking at 9A, Monster Milton, the Cat 5 hurricane churning towards parts of Florida. What's being called the storm of a century expected to make landfall later tonight. We have what you need to know from its powerful path to how local crews are on their way to help. Live team coverage moments away. Also ahead, the race for the White House less than a month away. So what are the most important issues for local folks? We're going to hit the streets to find out. Then, Good Day Helps You Save at 9.15. Are so-called safe money strategies for you? A top money guy gives us his take. Plus, what a feeling. What a feeling. Jennifer Bills is live with us. The important health message she has for you at 9.40. Let's do this, DMV. Good Day DC is here for you, and it starts right now. Good day, D.C., Maryland, and Northern Virginia. It's 9 o'clock on this Wednesday, October 9th. Thank you so much for joining us on what could be and is expected to be a historic and potentially catastrophic day for the Florida coast. That's right. The monstrous Hurricane Milton is now turning and devastating all throughout the coast. We're looking at a Category 4 storm just downgraded to 5 from a 5. Now, we're just hours away from landfall. Millions fleeing the Sunshine State many of whom are still reeling from Hurricane Helene's destruction. That's right. Nearly 6 million Florida residents under mandatory evacuation orders right now as Hurricane Milton is expected to make landfall later tonight into tomorrow morning. That Category 4 storm expected to hit between Tampa and Fort Myers, bringing in up to a foot of rainfall in some places, 160 mile per hour winds, some residents feeling the mental and emotional toll of now a second hurricane hitting and having to leave while others are still choosing to stay around. Oh, I, it was a good cheese. Steven had Sorry, a good I didn't cheese. know anything about the cheese. We're still I've never had fondue before. before. That was the first time. Yeah, it was really good. All right, <laughs> great that segment. Really good. We hope that you all enjoyed watching here our 9A. We have much more coming up on the 10 o'clock. In fact, something both Annie Mae and Steven Graddick yeah. keep talking about. Please uh -huh. star Kevin McHale yes. will be live here in studio. He's starring in a new Kennedy Center production of the Putnam County Spelling Bee, and we're going to talk with him all about that and more. Plus, we are live with D.C.'s own Whitney Cummings. She just keeps blowing up. So famous. So she chats with us about bringing her big baby tour back home this weekend. Plus, on Lion Lunch Hour, comedian Heather McMahon sharing a sneak peek at her new Hulu, comedi uh, Hulu com comedy special, Breadwinner. And the crew from Be Epic is taking over the kitchen, a must-see Two hours still ahead right there on Fox 5. Don't go anywhere. Just pull up the TV and sit right there. We'll be right back.